Get your lead. Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Heading Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Heading Fog exclusive. Back to double threshold. First one of these in quite a while. I said it was the first one since before Glasgow, but I think it's the first one since pre Milrose. I think, I can't really remember. I could just go back and look, but I haven't. Didn't get any footage from this morning. I was on my own, but did one mile, three miles, one mile, kind of from 5.15 down to five flat per mile. 3.15ish per K down to about three flat low three minutes and then felt fine all good kind of building back up in training now had a few easy days after world indoors and then now getting back into the swing of things uh and 12 12 days out from world cross mixed relay feeling all right need to you know keep the ball rolling as they say after a pretty easy week after world indoors but feeling all right and uh the plan for tonight solo again but 10 by 800 starting well kind of pretty much all of them hopefully 220 down to 218 with a minute 15 recovery where i'll probably walk a bit probably jog a bit shuffle some i'll play it by ear and see how i'm feeling but hopefully can get through 10 800s 220 to 218 and feel the goal is to feel all right the whole way through it shouldn't be that that hard probably won't feel great after this morning but you know should be manageable so yeah that's about it. Time to warm up and um, get going. Sounds good. One down. Nearly there. <laughs> Go. It honestly felt like the first four reps were the hardest. Like I don't feel great, but it's kind of got easier. You get into a rhythm. Sixty. Wait, that's one. 
seven. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Felt decent. Honestly, the first few reps I thought it was gonna feel pretty bad and be like quite a long night. But I think after like three, four, five reps, I kind of got into a bit of a rhythm with it and ended up feeling pretty good. Like I felt like I was working a little bit, but um, nothing over the top. Started at 219 high, built down kind of quite a few at 218, built into the 217 range and then last few were at 216 high. So I actually was moving a little bit quicker than planned, but kind of felt pretty in control overall. Um, yeah, working a little bit by the end, but nothing over the top. I think it's just like, it's been a while since I've done a day like this, a big double threshold day. So um, it kind of, I felt fit, but I think my legs felt a little bit tired just because I've been building back up. But yeah, I mean, easy couple of days now and then good long run in three days and then that'll be nine days out. So probably one more hard session in a few days and then yeah, be full steam ahead, ready for World Cross. Really looking forward to, to that. We've got a strong team in the relay, GB, really good team. So um, I guess it'll kind of depend on who the other countries send, but I think hopefully we'll be challenging for, yeah, being right up there. Hopefully, you know, be in the fight for a medal and see how close we can get to that. So yeah, looking forward to it. Good day of work, massive day on the legs. It's been 28, 29K overall, including warm up and warm down for both morning and evening, uh, so long day, glad to get it done, and um, yeah, looking forward to the next session.